Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn about dynamic component in SolidJS. So this is something related to switching statements or if conditions. Instead of using them, we can use dynamic components over here. So let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. And now what I'll do is, I'll give an example what we are trying to execute. I will be having two texts and based on the button click, the text should render. So that is our scenario. Now the case is, let me create a signal SSIG signal and this signal what I am doing is I am creating is first and set is first this is my setter method and now let me create it as true by default and let me import this create signal so now what I want to do is I want to have a button so on this button click like first component and I have another button click called as second component. So whenever the user clicks on the first component then I need to use something like on click event and inside this on click event I can use something like set is first that means a setter method and I'll make it as true and let me use the same thing over here and make this as false. So my case is very simple. Whenever I click on this button, I should show a label called as first and whenever I click on this button, I should show a label called as second. So let me save this. Now, what I'll do is, I'll just use something called as show and I have discussed about this show element given by SolidJS in my previous videos. What's that for better understanding? When to show, when is a property for showing this and when the condition is true, when this is first is true, then it will go inside and show the content inside this show element. So that is nothing but first and let me use a fallback that means else case. So whenever there is no first component then it has to show something like a second component. Let me use second and save this. Let me go to the browser and here you can see first when I click on this it is showing second when I click on this it is showing first. Now let me improvise this. In the future, I got one more requirement where I don't have two components. I have three components. So in that case, instead of using true and false, what I'll try to do is I'll try to make this very simple like whenever it will receive a string called as first, then it has to show first component. So in that case, what I'll do is I'll just use component name and set component name just for our understanding now when the user clicks on this I'll be showing first and let me copy the same thing go here and just put it over here I'll show this as second and let me copy the same button over here now we have three labels that is third component and this is like third and save this so now based on this set component name I want to show this values so in that case what I can do I can just remove this or you can write three shows if you want or else the best thing is to show something within the ternary operator like chaining ternary now what I'll do is component name if this component name is equivalent to first then I have to show a value that is nothing but a paragraph and this paragraph should show first for example if it is not first then I need to check the component name and the component name is equal to is equal to second then I have to show something called as second this is my second condition now if this condition also gets failed then I need to check component name equal to equal to third if it is third I need to show a paragraph and the paragraph is third and if it is nothing like the default value or empty then I can show something like a paragraph where this is not clicked so let me save this by default this will be empty so when the user is having an empty value then it will be showing not clicked based on the click events it has to show this respective paragraphs let me go here and now let me reload is there any problem no problem so when I click on first component you are seeing first second component second third component third so this is 
absolutely fine there is no problem in this but the problem here is for example you have n number of conditions over here then in that case how can you solve this for example you have fourth fifth sixth components so this code gets more and more instead of doing all this we have something called as dynamic component example now you have a text that's fine but in case you have a component how you will write we have to write something like this so let me use a new file called as first dot jsx this is my component and let me use s comp so this is having a div and with a first so let me make it as paragraph as per our requirement and let me save this now again let me create one more file called as second dot jsx and s comp so let me create this second component and let me make it as paragraph and here also let me make it as paragraph so done with the second component next let me create a third component third dot jsx and hit enter s comp now you have a third component and a paragraph inside this so instead of using this labels i can just use something like first component which is imported on the top and we have something called as second component let me use second component and let me use something like third component and save this now let me format it now this is also fine whenever the condition satisfies it just go into that component and renders whatever that component is returning let me go here first component second component third component it also works the same way but how can we make it more simple so the simple way of doing this is let me create a object const components list or map is equal to i want to create something like first and whenever the component name is first i want to return an element and the element name is first as a html content and now let me use something like second and this returns an element that element is second element comma third this is a function again and this has to return third so i made into a json format and i want to make with a labels so in this case the advantage is whenever i am able to call this function then automatically this component will be returned and instead of doing all this what i can do is i can just use a components map of component name and that will return you the value like this so save this go here just clear it off reload so components map of component name so component name is the value whatever we are getting and it is a type of function so i'm just calling it and let me use a optional case so that it will not give any problem for us let me go here clear this off reload now click on this first click on this second click on this third so we are able to do this but to make it very easy and to make it readable we can use something called as a component which is given by our solid js and that component is nothing but dynamic so dynamic is a component or the element given by solid js where it will receive a component and the component can be anything something like this let me copy this put it over here we have to pass a component for this component prop of dynamic element so it is similar to this way but the only difference is dynamic is a component which is given by solid js and as it is given by solid js and the readability is very easy because this looks like a javascript logic where it looks like a html content and it just receives some set of component over here and it will render let me go here click on this click on this click on this so what this dynamic will do is it will take the latest component and it will render in place of dynamic let me go here and just inspect this if you see there is no dynamic element over here that means this dynamic will replace our html component over here and this will be acting like just a placeholder not the original element so it is not rendered over here only the paragraph of third 
that means whenever i click on the third component then it is trying to fetch the third component and inside the third component we have only a paragraph if you want to extend this third component you can extend however you want but no need to change your main core logic so that's about your dynamic component which is given by solid js either of the way you can use but this is a way which solid js is recommending us to use so hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you